interesting and educative. Imas Wen is otherwise going to do the full analysis of the three others that you sought the throne of their brothers. The Benin monarch is operating what we call the primogenitious system. The primogenitious system is the process whereby the heir apparent to the throne is the first male child of a sitting oba, which means the crown prince is the first male child of the oba. However, there are three cases in the history of Benin where the law of primogenitious was violated. Three obas you sought the throne of their brothers. The last Oba that you saw the throne of his brother was called Oba Ubebo. He actually set himself, his own mother, and the entire Bini palace ablaze. He burnt down all the monuments that were kept in the palace right from the dynasty of Ogiso to the 18th century. It was quite pathetic. There is a song affiliated with this history, and it goes like this. Oh ye kene kene madaya, ora de umo diana o, uga tak pege o, abanga tak pe, ise ise, abanga tak pe, ise ise, eni kawaya o abama o. Now, today, I'm going to explain to you how that word came. I'm going to explain. That is uh, the basics. Uh, for some of you who doesn't know what the, uh, one of the appraiser, one of the appellation of the Obra of Bini, yeah, that word so today's topic is going to address it but basically that's what we'll be discussing about about webber all right and how that word came uh, however we're going to be discussing briefly two others three others briefly two will be very brief then but the third one it's um about webber it's a case study of uh, there are three usurpers uh, what we in area you saw pass a car they do Obama the in area so in the chronology of the Ihogbe, the royal chroniclers, uh, the Ihogbe's are the 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 keeper of the royal history, not the Benin history now. The keepers of the royal history they are called the Ihogbe. All right, that they, they are the, called the royal chroniclers. In the chronicle of the Uhugbe, we only have 30, 37 Obas of Benin have reigned. 37. But generally, 40 Obas have reigned. Like the one you and I know. Yeah, 40 now. Uh, sorry, uh, not have reigned. 39 have reigned and one. The fortieth is currently reigning. In the chronicles of the Ihogbe, they are not forty; they are thirty-seven. Three in Yamo Uhure, they are not regarded as Oba in the royal cycle. Three of them, but generally, they are referred to as Oba. Um, Wife here was a usurper. There is another usurper then. Ogbebo. Ogbebo is the last usurper of Benin Kingdom. And so, some persons will call them, um, some persons will say um, Obai Weather was also a usurper. Some persons will say uh, Adola was also a usurper. Some persons will say SEG was also a usurper. No, no, no. They were no usurpers. Alright. Although they had an elder brothers. They had elder brothers. And that was because. Uh, I do my and like all okay, weather he was called um, Prince F a Fabo. He had an elder brother who went to war on Marco Kore. 
So, a farmer who was born in present day uh, Ondo state, uh, on the Ryoba, Ogi Ryoba, and a few years later, his elder brother now came to Benin. So, you couldn't have called him a usurper. A domain of Oyaragmo. That was number one. We have cases of um, Adolo. Adolo had an elder brother called Ogbe Welcome. Only that the, the birth of Adolo was re reported first before Ogbe Welcome. So, era of seven, then I read to Ogbe, Ogbe Welcome. I think I will explain that later. Then we also have the, the story of um, Idubo and Osawe. Okay, the, the, it was SG was a bona fide Obra of Benin. It was his birth that was announced first. So it was he that was given the 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 the, the bead that certifies him as the next Oba. So SG was not a usurper. And so but there are three usurpers. Obama Siang Bia and Obama Siang Bia and Ariba. There are three usurpers in the Benin Kingdom. The first was Uwaifiokun. The second is Ozuei. Ozuei was the second son of Obaewakbe. Alright? Uwaifiokun was the last son of Oba Ohe. So the first usurper is Uwaifiokun, who was the last son. Oba Ohe had four sons. They all became Obas of Benin. Alright? So there was a third son before Uwaifiokun. The third son was Prince Ogun, not the real why the first. You know, suppose not Baswe, but Uwaifiokun was the fourth son, honored your ba before Otion and Odion which was wrong that made him the first usurper the second usurper was Ozwe. he was a younger brother of Akenzwa Nogi Doria Akenzwa the first they were both two sons of Oba Ewa Be. so Ozwe Oba Maswe the Ozwe is spelled as O-Z-U-E-R-O-E Ozwe that was the second usurper. And the third usurper was Obebo. He was a younger brother of Prince Ere Diawa, who now became known as Oba Osemede. So these are the three usurpers. Wife Yokun, the first usurper of Benin Kingdom. Uzoe, the second usurper. The third usurper is Ogbebo. These are the three usurpers of the Benin throne. Let me start with the first one. I'm going to be brief. I'm not going to. If, if you look at the three usurpers, the, the topic of today is the three usurpers of Benin Kingdom. It, Ogbebo or Ogbebo as a case study. So that means I'm going to dwell more in analyzing Ogbebo than the other two. Maybe in other subsequent class, maybe we can make it three classes. We'll talk about Ogbefiokun, we'll talk about Ozuere, then we'll talk about Ogbebo. Now, I want to talk about Ogbebo because of there is a word. Doyo. How did that word originate and what does it mean? In English, so that's why the case study is about Bebo. So, but I'll just quickly talk about the other two. All right, about him had four sons. They all became the Oba of Benin. The first was Egbeka. Egbeka yuri Oba or Mike Uweva Otona Yorui. Then his younger brother O Obiru. Obiru became the next Oba. Before that one died, uh, Uwaifiokun and his elder brother Ogun, they were, they were, because they were quite stubborn, two stubborn princes, and they were quite very close as brothers, they were exiled from Benin. 
So at one point in time, when their elder brother died, Orubiru, uh, Prince Ogun sent his younger brother, Owaifio Kun, to go and check what was happening in Benin Kingdom. Dating her, he accepting her back and all that. So getting there, he now gave them a report that uh, his elder brother has been killed by wild animals. All right? Then the Benin chiefs had no other choice than to crown him the Oba of Benin as Oba wife Yokun. So Prince Ogun got to know about it. He planned the coup that eventually led to the death of his younger brother, eventually on the Oba. So wife Yokun became the first known usurper of the Benin throne. All right? Uh, I'm not going to dwell too much on elaborating on this story. Some other of our subsequent classes will elaborate. Then after which, that's the first usurper. Then the second usurper is the two sons of... Um, Ewakbe had two sons or more. Uh, the first was Noiduri Akenzwa the first. I seem not to remember what was the princely name of Akenzwa the first. I think I used to know it, but I can't really remember now. The princely name of Akenzwa the first. So, then... Akenzwa the first, knowing the real Akenzwa the first was the elder brother, was the first son of Obai Wakbe. All right, and the second son was Oswari. Now, I said in one of our subsequent classes, there was Obai Akenzwa was not knowing the real Akenzwa the first was not loved by Yase Ode. Yase Ode hated him because he did something that he he did something that is an abomination. Is an abomination. Uh, it was he did something to wrong uh, Yasa Ode. So Yasa Ode planned a coup against him to ensure that his younger brother was crowned before him. All right. So he fled to uh, Ewohimi. That's where Ehenwa, who is more of like the patriarch of the of the recent families of the of the families of Ezomo Ehenwa. Uh, Ehenwa was his cousin. I helped him to retain back the throne by defeating Ozuarian. And all that he now became the other all right so Ozra became the second usurper of the benin throne all right so the third so the third the third is this is the one i want to elaborate on the third is obebo and his elder brother Ere Diawa. So listen very well. There is a Prince Ere Diawa. <laughs> Don't miss it to viewers. There is a Prince Ere Diawa. And there is Oba Ere Diawa. There are two different Obas. Alright. Oba Ere Diawa's name was Aishio Kwaba. He was Prince Solomon. Aishio Kwaba Akenzwa. Who not became... That is Oba Ere Diawa, the one that everybody knows. Now, there is another one that is Prince Ere Diawa. His princely name was Ere Diawa, but he was not Oba Ere Diawa. So, please, so understand when I'm saying Prince Ere Diawa, I'm not referring to Oba Ere Diawa. They lived. Oba seven day Prince Ere Diawa became Oba seven day. Oba seven day ni Oba Oba Adolo. Oba Adolo ni Obi Oba Vorame. Oba Vorame ni Obi Eweka the second. Eweka the second. Obi Akenzwa the second. Akenzwa the second. And now the Diawa. You see so many years difference between Prince Ere Diawa and Oba Ere Diawa. Please take note. Uh, take take note. There is a difference between Prince Ere Diawa and Oba Ere Diawa. In this contest, we are talking about Prince Ere Diawa, who later was now known as Oba or Semende. Prince Ere Diawa and uh, Ogbebo, their father was Oba Obanosa. Obanosa being Eva, Prince Ere Diawa and Ogbebo. However, Ogbebo usurped the throne of his elder brother. Ogbebo became the 
third usurper of Benin throne. So Prince Eridiawa ran from Benin to Ewohimi in present day Saland. Now he had a help. The help, the person who helped him was Ezomo Ebo. Now that prince, take note, I'm going to give because it's detailed. That prince, Eridiawa, married an Ewesi for some of the Ewesi people online, Ewesi in the Korean. So be happy. So married a woman called Lady Ugiomo. Ugiomo ni Ugi Ewesi, no, it's from Ewesi. Now when they got to Ewohimi, few months later, Lady Ugiomo, the wife of Prince Eridiawa, who had run because his younger brother has usurped the throne. He now, his younger brother was now Obagbebo, who had run to Ewohimi, now gave birth to a child. And the first, the child was named Agaye Yubini. In recognition that someday, sometime in the future, we will still return to Benin, our home. Aga, or properly now called Aga Yubini, is like the the mother of the Iwe Ryogen and the Osulas of Benin. The Osulas and the Iwe Ryogen and they are maternally Benin royalty. This Aga Yubini, she's very popular because she became extremely worthy. One of the worthiest, if not the worthiest princess of Benin history. Aga Yubini. So, the child, the child that um, Prince Eridiawa gave birth uh, with uh, his, uh, his wife who was Lady Ugyomo, the woman from uh, Ovie Wesi, near Koryomo. That child was a, was a female. So he named her Agaye Yubini, abridged as Agaye Yubini today. All right, Agaye Yubini, Agaye Yubini, which is the patriarch, the, the lineage of the Awari Organians and the Osulas came from Agaye Yubini. Just as a rep as a remembrance that at one point in history they will return back to Benin all right so eventually he stayed there for quite some years at a wohimi no sorry not quite some years or few months because um, Ogbebo only spent eight months on the throne so not years sorry few months he spent there so it was through the help of one of his cousins, who was also an Ezomo, Ezomo Erebo, they were able to plan the coup against his younger brother, who was already the Oba Obagbebo. So when Obagbebo saw that there is no way he was going to survive what was to befall him as the Oba, he decided to set the palace ablaze. Now the major reason that there is a gap of history. The major reason today, the preservation of all the histories of the Ogiso still dates. While that preservation of history did not follow us to this very day was because of these about Bebo. He burnt every single record in the palace from the days of the Ogiso. All the records that we had, the Semerigo, of ly the first the telescope aranza the telescope that was given to hang in about 1652 by james Welch was born during that inferno the popular inferno in benin the semerigo the the potent the original semerigo the ly the first yeah he burnt it he burnt almost every single historical monument that we had from the days of the so everything that has been kept it was that about Bebo. pathetic though uh, it's, it's a story that i cry every day just like what happened to the um, what is um uh, at the burning of the 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 library of alexandria in egypt in about 41 bc by julius caesar exactly what was done to the black history when the 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 great uh, the the library of the great alexandria of egypt was born in about 41 bc 
about Julius Caesar, what it, what it did to the black history. That's exactly what Obagbebo did to the Benin history. Because every single record we have kept from the days of Ogiso down to that 1816, Obagbebo burnt everything to the ground. He also burnt himself. But before he did that heinous crime against the history of our land, he made a proclamation. He made a proclamation. And that proclamation was that that was the proclamation, the last proclamation he made. And when he was when he was to set the palace to bomb, of course, the gunpowder that was left in the palace, the excessive gunpowder that was left in the palace, when he was to set it ablaze, he asked everybody to vacate the palace except his umada, the person that is sword bearer. And he also told that so it was him and the mother that was born in that um, that inferno that caused our history the damaged all right the, all the history all the records of history that was documented right from the days of the Ogisos were born in the year 1816 by he made a proclamation so eventually after that incident happened um prince Eridiawa heard of what had happened he uh, prince Eridiawa, the young agayubinin princess agayubinin and the wife lady queen ugyomo they all returned to benin all right and then he was not crowned the oba of benin during the coronation uh at Usi, where he would choose his name uh, when he played the last mambo he mentioned the word which is believed to be an a san word and that word was or said them or said them so when he mentioned that word chief only i heard but he did not understand what that means so on that tire uh, he, he confided in a donhen and he said a donhen what the the, the young uh, the crown prince who just who is about to become the oba what hi that one did not understand as well they heard him but it wasn't a pure benin word it was an asian word then that one also confided in the ears of Ezomo. it was Ezomo who now converted that word they said the original word he mentioned was or said them eh? Who not said, who not beninized that a sound word or seven day to this? They mean the same thing. The, my day is done, or it, it has it has come to the, the my, my time has come, something like that. Who not, who not, who not said, or where or seven day. So that or seven day, it's more like a word that is a sun and benign. The original word he said was Osedeme, eh? all right? It was a bit strange to the ears of Yamai no Yaiha. So, Ezomona beninized it to become Osemede. The name he eventually became known as Obasemede. So, don't forget the palace was burnt down totally. So, it was the remnant of the palace that he was able to gather together to start building the palace once again so shortly after his wife lady ugyomo put to birth and gave birth to his son now when that son was born when that son was born He was a fine child. The Benins remember. But, <coughs> however, there was something shocking about the child. The child had a burnt skin. He had a pale skin, like a burnt skin. He had patches of uh, the burnt, meaning a, 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 a burnt yam, nagido, pale, 
that you have scraped out the black spots those like brown spots was speckled all over his body so the child was born with a burnt skin all right the child was born with a burnt skin okay now when they presented that child to his father or Barsene there he looked at the child and remembered what his younger brother had said that so he knew immediately that so he named that child Odiova. Odiova. Odiova is an ancient Benin word that means truly determined someone that is truly determined so he named it other that he is truly determined to really become the oba in the second case is legitimately to become the oba legitimately in the second coming for the first coming was an illegitimate oba it was a usurper but in this case it came readily as a first son of oba dollar sort of Oba seven there so that child was called Odiova all right so the child grew up to be a very handsome 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 prince Prince Odiova and as handsome as he but he had a peckled skin like a burnt skin all over his body so the day uh, uh, the day he was also to play the Ahue game as he was about to throw the last one, he remembered that he had, during his first coming to life, he had done great disservice to Benin Kingdom by burning down the palace. So he now remember that his duty, that Niagarioba, as he is about to become the Oba, so he not choose the name a restorer adolo he not choose that word adolo a reminiscence that in his first life he had burnt down the palace now he has come back to restore all that was lost through the burning down of the palace and he became the Oba at a quite young age. He was just 31. He was 31. Uh, was 31. Was 31 years old when he became the Oba of Benin. All right. So he met up with that mandate. He reigned for 40 years. And discovered or created 40 villages one of the most prominent market named after him is Ekiadolo. he created 40 villages and read for 40 years one of the one of the uh, most popular village sorry market that he created was a Kyadolo. A Kyadolo is not the name of that community. In one of my uh, 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 questions that I've asked, a lot of you should know. The a Kyadolo is not the name of that community. Igwini is called Igwiko. Although most of the people doesn't even know that it's called Igwiko. They even call that community a Kyadolo. The market at the at Igwiko. It's called a Kyadolo. So he reigned for 40 years and built or created or discovered 40 villages. All right? And created 40 villages. Now, he had eight children. Obadolo had eight children. Four sons, four daughters. 
No, nah, yeah, history cannot remember whether the mother also came to life. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know whether the mother came to life. <laughs> so he had eight children, four sons and four daughters. All right. Before I talk about the four sons that he had, because of that, what give you a bad name? I don't need to more. I don't not give him another appraiser called a kenekene. Madoyo, the son of a speckled skin. That is where it came about. The, the, that word, a kenekene madoyo, is being referred to a badolo because he had a speckled skin. A skin that like is burnt. A speckled skin that, that glitters that that shines something it's a, a bone skin that glitters that is the english representation of the benin word it is an appraiser to our dollar it is an appraiser to our dollar so one of the numerous appraisers of the urban of benin is Ovie Kene Kene Madoyo. It is in a reference of Obadolo. Obadolo na sunu. Just like uh, the Ohani give Ikbem Bokburuma no Boduma. It's a reference to what happened to Obaehe Buda no Bo. But in this case, Ovie Kene Kene Madoyo is a reference to Adolo. Yes, a kene kene speckled skin, something sp speckled. I take kene kene. Now he had four sons. No, 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 no. The youngest Oba to be crowned is Ahenzai. Ahenzai was crowned at the age of sixteen. He's not the youngest. Ahenzai was crowned at the age of sixteen. Or by Ahenzai. Was crowned at the age of sixteen. You see, a lot of you have read my eighty facts about Great Benin, a hundred facts about Great Benin. I wrote it, so that fact is there. The youngest, the youngest king that ever reigned, Ahenzai, sixteen years. Mm. Uh. All right, the four sons of Obadolo. The first son was Idugbowa. The second son, Idugbawana became Obavorame. The second son was Orohoro, who's, who, be, who later became a Nogi of Oumo village. Oumo, O R O U M W O N. That's Orohoro, the second son of Obadolo, became the Nogi of Oumon community or Oumon village. Then the third son was Iduse. Alright. Then the fourth son, that is the last son of Obadolo, is what I want us to also place some emphasis on. Was called Ese. Ese became the first Enogi of Amagba. And that they say inherit that Lukodeman dysfunction. They say also had a speckled skin. So if you look at the lines of the Ebo of Amagba, Unyeni, they have that speckled skin. They, they, they inherited that gene of Obadolo. A lot of them had that speckled skin. So the fourth son and the last son of Obadolo, his elder brother who was Una became Obadolo, and he made him the Enogi. He was his favorite half brother. So he made a say the Enogi of Amagba. He say became the first Enogi of Amagba. All right, and that a say now had inherited that Yukodema dysfunction, that bone skin from his father. Badolo. So, yes, A C E R E X E. I think you have the same name now. Anna A C Duriase. 
So that is Sena became the first Enogi of Amagba. So every of that line of the Enogis of Amagba, they all have that, some of them have that, that leukodem and dysfunction of having a bond skin that was they inherited from a bad dollar till date till date It's not a book. It was just a fact. You can get it anywhere. You can Google it. Facts a bad great benign. You'll see it. So, I have been able to exhaustively tell you some little, little information about the three usurpers. Making Ogbebo as a case study. How Ogbebo had, had said that he was going to be, he was going to reincarnate and I eventually reincarnate as a bad dollar he had a speckled skin he had four sons the first being idubowa who became a bavora man the second being uro horror the first enogi of one village then the, se the second son was a do the third son was a do say and the last was a say he say he inherited a leukodema dysfunction from his father and the say became the first enogi of amagba all right of Amagba. For the benefit of those who don't know the history of Oba Ovorame, he was the active Oba of Benin when the British people invaded Benin Kingdom in 1897. He was taken to Calabar where he was exiled before he joined his ancestors in 1914. All right. Today we've been able to learn the three usurpers of Benin throne. First being wife, you can second being Ozuri, third being uh, uh, Ogbebo, and we've been able to understand that in the chronicles of the royal classification of the Obas, three these three usurpers are not recognized as Obas because they don't have Oba. They don't have Uhurai. I think they have mentioned any Oba. Kenana, where are they? You know, Kamba and all that. They were three usurpers, but in the general Benin history, they are recognized as Obas because they sat on the throne quite all right. Thank you.